all right guys so i'm back um and now we've rooted the phone we've unlocked bootloader we've rooted the phone we're using um super boot if you want to find out how to root the phone um please check out the video uh put it link to it on here to root it and just to show you that we are actually rooted uh I have right here super user so I unroot it and what I like to do now is to install a custom ROM on it I found a useful um, guide here on the unlocker so this this is my first time doing it just to make this clear um so I, I, I hope it works out I just want to document my journey here um, for all to see so before you begin, you must have done our root. Okay, so we did the root and then flash custom recovery image. So what I gotta do is um go to the app store and search for a custom ROM. So I mean a ROM manager. Um, ROM manager. So free ROM manager. In our case, we're gonna choose Clockwork mod so just download that accept all right so go ahead and open it and flash a custom recovery whatever that means ROM manager is not responsible for any damage, blah blah blah. Okay to agree. So I'm gonna flash clockwork mod recovery. Got several options here. Um I think I'm just gonna go with <clears throat> the traditional one. Because I had trouble with the touch earlier. I am a GSM, so select GSM. And it's working, working. And while waiting for that, I um, just want to say that I did head over to the um, custom ROM section and I found you know so it's still in progress as you see there so I did find two that uh, I've, I've been shopping around for custom ROMs and the two that I thought were would you know would be something I was interested in was um, the Open Kang project and also the Android Revolution HD. Android Revolution HD is uh, supposed to be, you know, really bare bones. Um, so if you want something light, um, that would be it. And at the other extreme was the AOKP Open Kang project, which um, is sort of like on steroids you know uh, customization on steroids so so two different extremes so you can see I'm still downloading the Android revolution ROM um, I've already downloaded the AOKP ROM for GSM it says Maguro there Maguro means GSM and Toro is uh, it's the CDMA version so super user request following app is requesting Blah blah blah. Okay, so allow it, and let's see what the next step is. Successfully flash Clockwork mod recovery. Okay, select the ROM and save it to your computer. Plug in the phone, mount the internal storage so we can transfer files to it. Copy the ROM over to the root of the internal storage.
Right, so I've got this figured out. So I've set up the FTP server here and I have access to the SD card on here. So it turns out that I can't copy anything to the root of the phone, but I can do it to the SD card. So let's copy the custom ROM to the SD card itself. So just need to wait for this to complete about a minute remaining. All right, so transfer is complete. I have OKP on there right now. Stop the server. And let's see. So what is the next step here? So turn the phone off and then turn it back on. Um, put it into fast boot mode. Mode. Okay, so let's turn it off first. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is um, something somewhat different from fast boot mode. I will still hold on to the volume buttons and power button until I get the bump and then I let go of the power button but keep holding the volume button until it goes into recovery mode. Well, okay, it's not working. So I just put it into recovery mode like that. Let's use the um, up and down. Let's go into recovery mode, red, and then press the power button. Okay, it's going into recovery. And now what I'll do is, um, it's too small to see, but I'm going to scroll to uh, backup because I, I, I want to back up this ROM, um, the stock ROM, in, in case something bad happens. So I'm just going to back it up here. Select backup and it's doing its thing. I guess this is what they call a Nandroid, if I'm not mistaken. is here make an Android looks like we're done here and next select wipe data okay so go down to wipe data slash factory reset Push the power button yes delete all user data push the power button it says it's wiping data, formatting data, formatting cache, formatting SD card, data wipe complete. Okay, now once that's done, select install zip from SD card. Press the power button. Choose zip from SD card. I'm going to... Scroll down to AOKP Maguro build 28.zip. Yes, install AOKP Maguro build 28.zip. Installing, finding update package, opening update package, installing update. OK, 
Okay, so I'll just wait for that to hit install from SD card complete. So once done, reboot system now. Okay, so just press the power button. Um, I'm gonna scroll down to go back. Go back again. And then select the first option, reboot system now. So reboot. Okay, pink unicorn, looking good. Um, okay, um, I think I'm going to use Nova Launcher. I previously had Nova Launcher installed on this. So, turn on Wi-Fi. Looking good. All right, so... around here Let's look at the settings on this thing okay so you can see some customizations already on here um, screen brightness control right here Bluetooth Wi-Fi stick look at okay so This is uh, what it's the Open Kang um, options right here. So I think I'll go away and play around with it and come back with a review on it at some point. Right. So that was. Um, flashing around onto it so next thing I need to do is to restore the apps and app data that I backed up before um, unlocking the bootloader and rooting phone so stay tuned